This is crazy good. Look at this right here. RIP Photoshop. But this time, we may just be closer than ever. Freepik just dropped one of the most impressive updates in the AI world so far. And what's even more impressive is that right now, it is unlimited in Freepik. And the update is Nano Banana. And so you may be asking yourself, That name is so funny. So like, what the heck is Nano Banana, Eric? Place products, keep characters consistent, change scenes, or edit specific parts with total and full control. It really is the power of AI editing. So I was thinking about the keynote on AI ethics. Oh, me too. What were your main takeaways from it? So this really is like RIP to Photoshop? Well, we may just be getting close. And if you don't have a subscription yet for free pick, I actually have a huge discount that you can access via the link in the description. It's gonna give you a large percentage off of annual plans. So let me show you a quick trick that you can do right away. Quite simply, just begin by asking this question. What is Nano Banana? Now, once you ask that question, you can just see right away that Gemini is gonna give us a good plethora of data and answers that will be very helpful in helping us navigate in how to use these new updates. Specific use cases, editing with natural language. Instead of using complex tools and layers like in traditional software, and now there it is, e.g. Photoshop, and you can see right away, this is targeted specifically for those complex editing tools. In fact, using the example of Photoshop right here in Gemini. Users can simply describe the changes they want in plain text. We also have character and identity preservation. A major breakthrough of Nano Banana is the ability to maintain the consistent identity of a person or object across multiple edits. So before we dive in and do some really quick demos, let me first show you another trick to keep this conversation flowing in order to find some of the best examples for yourself to use in trying some of these new tools. And you can see right down here below, a very simple prompt. Provide some of the most impressive use cases, examples, and prompts to try in Nano Banana. Give me a step-by-step -step process for each one. I want the best possible. That way, you can allow the AI to give you some of the best examples that you can try for yourself in real time. So you can see right here, use case number one. It specifically says, the Photoshop killer. Total scene end identity redressing. Take a single person's photo and place them in a completely different environment with new clothes, props, as if it were a new original photograph. But one of the most helpful ones for people are gonna be this use case number three, the narrative storyboarder, character consistency across scenes. Okay, so here we are right now in free pick. And in order to find this, you're just gonna go ahead and go to the AI image generator, simply select your model. It's underneath Google. It's gonna be the very first option. There it is, Google Nano Banana. Go ahead and select that. We're gonna start simple, but then I'm actually actually going to save the best for last. And that's actually how to use the narrative story border workflow. Okay, so one of the most impressive things I got is you could see it already that this woman here went from a pink dress to a blue dress. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and drop it right here in the image reference area on the left hand side. Okay, it really is this simple. Once she's in here, this is all you have to say in your prompt. Up in the top left hand corner, change the pink color to blue. Now, since I already used blue before, let's choose a different one. Let's go ahead and say dark purple because this really does do well with prompt adherence. That's simple. Now go ahead and generate that. Okay. Now again, it does move relatively quick and just like that, look, it's already done. There she is. It really is that simple. The other thing we can do is look at this right here. Same exact thing. I took that same woman and I just said, put this woman in this crashed UFO scene sitting on a UFO. UFO. The next thing I'm going to do is I need to go back and find another woman. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to my AI influencers section and scroll through a few of these and now pick out somebody that's sitting as well, but kind of on their own. Oh, hey, my AI friends. The Everything Bundle now has over 10,000 prompts and counting. Want it? 
Just click the links in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and try one of these. I'll go ahead and download this image right here. We'll go ahead and use this one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag and bring this woman in here, okay? So we're gonna have two image references. So what I said for this one is I uploaded both of these women. I said, make these two women sit next to each other side by side, adjust the lighting, atmosphere, and colors to make it look like they're in the same room having a conversation. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this last portion first. I want to see what happens if I just generate it as this. Okay. So I'll go ahead and hit generate here. Now I'm going to come back and repaste that in and now do it a second time. That way we can compare all four images versus the other four images. This is crazy good. Look at this right here. All of these images perfectly. They do look exactly what I was wanting. They're seated and everything is perfect as far as the lighting, the atmosphere, the cinematography, it looks like they really are sitting there having a conversation. Now, instead of providing in a prompt format of the environment they're in, let's go ahead and use a third image reference. We'll go to my scene and architecture and see if it could do something similar by putting them in a specific scene of my choosing from an image. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this, okay? I love the way that these images actually turned out. So I'm gonna use this prompt right here okay copy the whole entire thing we're now gonna go back over in the free pick and generate the image by pasting this in okay interior design of a music studio but this time I'm gonna say tech conference high-tech neon and by Ross Lovegrove okay so what we need to do is change it up from nano banana instead this time what I'll do is let's go ahead and generate the images in mystic 2.5 flexible we'll go ahead and do four generate these images first and use a third image however to put them sitting on that couch okay pretty cool here we go look at these pretty cool images let's go ahead and go with this one right here so I'll go ahead and download this one and now let's try this a few different ways okay I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag and bring this one in here okay so again with no further instruction let's generate this one i'm also going to go ahead and x this one out because i want to try another image and drop it in here and now this time i'll say sitting across from each other at a table since that third image actually has tables already in there but look at this it looks like these are already done and incredible job look at that they put them there perfectly the three out of the four images are the same exact scene i was wanting this one's a little bit different but still the same style incredible and look how fast this one actually worked now this one incredible as well the first woman didn't really look as realistic however these other ones these are 100 the right one this one her legs are cut off so on this one here i'm going to go ahead and give it two out of four so 50 percent not bad but the first ones we got on the couch those were eight for eight and now the other one with my neon glows about 50% accurate. All right, now let's go ahead and remove everything here, okay? Now check out this piece of amazingness. Let's go ahead and start from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this image here of a car outside of a modern home. And I'll just go ahead and say, put this girl standing next to this car, just like that. Okay, now it's time for some mind-blowing examples. These last two examples are the ones I think that are really gonna be a complete game changer. So first, let's go back over into free pick and look at these images of this girl girl standing next to this supercar. Fantastic. I think all four of these actually turned out very well. Again, okay, this one, 100% accurate. Beautiful job. Now, here is where we take things up a notch. We're actually going to now utilize this, but in a video format and convert this to a video using Kling's latest update by using an end image as a reference, okay? So first, what we need to do is pick one of these images that we want to use. I'll go ahead and download this one right here. Now, what we wanna do is let's go to AI Video Generator. We're now gonna go ahead and choose Kling 2.1, start image, end, and end image, okay? So for the very first one, we're gonna go ahead and bring in this woman that we created in in nano banana and she's standing on that car the second one we're going to use as an end frame is going to be an image right here i'll go ahead and expand this image so you can see what this is okay it's going to be 
a red purse inside of the interior of a McLaren. A woman stands next to a supercar. She opens the door, reaches inside the interior, and grabs a red purse from the seat. Okay, let's now generate this one and see how good of a job this can actually do. So while we have these videos both generating, now let's move on to perhaps one of the most helpful things that we can do. Now it's going to be using that narrator storyboarder. Now remember that Gemini actually told us what to do right here. Let's go ahead and follow these directions that Gemini actually just gave us. We're going to go ahead and do this. The first thing in panel number one, okay? Let's go ahead and upload the portrait, and this will be the actual prompt that we use right here, okay? That's gonna be panel number one. Let's generate that, okay? Panel number two, upload the original portrait again, and now let's go ahead and use this prompt that Gemini gave us, copy that. Okay, now back over into free pick again, remove this prompt, same woman is in here, and now generate this one. And we're basically going to repeat the process for panel three right here. Nano Banana's core strength is evident here. The model remembers the facial features, body shape, and overall identity of the character from the first image and applies it to each new scene despite the change in angle, pose, and lighting. This is a game changer for animators. Okay, now I know that may work pretty well in Google alone, in Google's AI Studio, or in Gemini, but let's see how good of a job it can actually do in free pick itself so if i go back over into free pick wow i'm telling you right now right away it's it did it look at this remember panel number one panel number one was the original portrait and it has the woman's back to the camera so if we go over into free pick look at that back to the camera back to the camera all four times panel number two medium shot in the cockpit of a spaceship look at this and now there it is again. Incredible job. That is magnificent. So, I mean, it actually did remember it. So let's paste in that third and final prompt. And that is actually going to be this one over here. Let's go ahead and copy it. Now, this time it should be more of a high angle shot back over here in the free pick. Now let's provide the same name again, cherry. Okay. Generate that. If this can pull this off, I'm going to have my mouth to the floor. Just impressed with what this can do. Okay. It's done, you're gonna be impressed. Again, remember the prompt for reference? Walking through a bustling alien marketplace. A small alien pet in their arms. The marketplace is colorful and chaotic. The face and identity must remain consistent. Let's go ahead and check this out. Look at this right here. Wow, incredible. Wow, okay. That is insanely impressive the way that this turned out, even this one here. And now finally, the two videos we just created using a start and end frame for reference. Look how good that these both turned out. Incredible job. So there you have it. And I must say, I am extremely impressed by this new update. And again, remember, there's a link in the description to get a huge discount with free pick. I highly recommend you do, especially since right now, Nano Banana is unlimited. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel. Is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips. Tons of prompts and